Hello, welcome to weekly prayer on 15th of September. I wasn't with you last week and I'm sorry about that, but we're here now and it's time to think together and pray together. And let's start our devotion because that's what it is with prayer. Lord, we thank you that you care for us so very much. Please be with us today and tomorrow and all the days of the week as we bring ourselves into your presence to spend time with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Psalm 141 and the first two verses. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. It, on the surface of it doesn't seem a particularly interesting psalm or part of psalm. But if you've ever felt alone, ever felt that you can't connect to God, ever felt that your prayers are sort of hitting the ceiling and not going any further, then it becomes a more interesting psalm. I don't know if you have felt those things. I know at times I have. O oh Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. It's a prayer I've made many times, I think. It's a prayer straight from the heart. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Lord, hear me when I'm in, you know, I'm really crying out to you here, Lord. Hear me. This is just so jolly difficult. And it's, it's being wrenched from the heart. But what is being wrenched from the heart? Not just a cry, a cry for help, or that it most certainly is that. The next verse gives us some more clues. Let my prayer rise before you as an incense, as incense. Now, in church circles, incense really does split people up. Personally, I absolutely love the smell of church incense. And I am an asthmatic, and no, it doesn't set my asthma off. But there are other people who seem very sensitive to it and really can't cope with incense at all in the church. But if you were to go back to the temple of the time of King David, it would have been full of incense at times of offering. And it was thought that the, that the incense not only made the place smell nice, but the prayers of the people rose like incense, like the smoke and the, the glorious smells. It was intended as something beautiful. Um, and yeah, I quite love it. But I, under, I also love the imagery of the prayers rising like the in sweet incense in the smoke. But it doesn't just stop at that, does it? It's not just, Lord, let my prayers rise as something beautiful. Why? Because I lift my hands to you and it's a sacrifice. One might say, how is lifting one's hands ever a sacrifice? particularly when you're lifting them in worship of the Lord. And again, that's something that would split many, many different types of churches. Some that stick with their hands down. Some where there's the freedom to raise your hands. If you don't know that that's a sacrifice, it's a sacrifice in two ways. I think the most obvious is the physical. Just try holding your hands like that. For, for, for a few minutes you'll soon find that it starts to hurt and the determination to do that as part of your prayer could well become 
quite a sacrifice. But you see, I think prayer in itself is often a sacrifice. Because it's people taking time. It's people making the effort to pray. It's people saying, you know, this is really important and I'm going to give it what I've got to give it. And they're doing it here in the evening when we are at our lowest. So determined are they to be close to God. The Lord come to me quickly, hear my voice. When I cry to you, let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting of my hands as the evening sacrifice. You know, there's a lot to be said for the fact that even though they're calling for the Lord to hear them, they're acting as if he can. They know that he can. And I have to be honest and say to you that when I felt like my prayers are bouncing off the ceiling, what I have to do is just to keep praying. Just keep going. It's not God that's not hearing my prayers. It's not God that's not there. It's something about me. I don't always know what it is. And I don't actually really know that it matters. What actually does matter is that we keep praying, even when we feel like we don't want to. Even when we feel as if our prayers are bound in the room. Just call the Lord. Call on him. He, he will come to you. And your prayers will rise like incense before him. They are a thing of beauty to him. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to pray to you. We thank you for the chance to be open to you. May we find ourselves able to see our prayers rising before you as the most wonderful incense. May we actually know your presence in our hearts and in our minds then. And may our sacrifices of raising our hands or kneeling be acceptable to you, Lord. And may in you we find the courage to face our everyday life. Be with us, we pray, O Lord. Amen. Well, as you know, normally after the prayers we just move straight on. Um, we'll shortly end the, the broadcast. I'm not going to speak a lot about the royal family or the queen or the king, but I would like to say that as a church, we offer our condolences to, to King Charles and he and his family remain in our prayers and I hope in yours in the coming weeks and days. And I'm told that today he's having a day of rest. A Sabbath, if you will. I hope he gets it. It's been, it must have been an exhausting period of time all over the country. All the ceremonial. And I've wondered myself when he gets time to reflect. So I'm pleased that he's getting time to reflect. And whilst we thank God for his mother's life, let's also thank God for his ongoing life and pray that he can be the monarch this nation needs. We'll do that in, our, in a moment now. Lord, we thank you for King Charles III. We thank you for the life, witness and service, the immense service of his mother. 
and we pray, Lord, that you will bless and anoint our new king even prior to his his great service of installation, Lord. Give him energy and give his whole family healing at this point. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good week, and I'll speak to you again next week. God bless.